All right, school will soon be out for most Bay Area students. It's a great time for those kids to unwind, have some fun, and learn. Yeah, that's right. It's important to help kids keep their academic edge, and there are many ways for you parents out there to inspire learning at home and help students improve on 21st century skills. Those are the skills that you see there on your screen. Communication, collaboration, creativity, and critical thinking. And here to talk more about ways to prevent that summer slide is Derry Stevens. Thanks so much of Common Sense Media. Okay, so first of all, let's talk a little bit about this summer slide. What is it and how prevalent do you think it is? Right, so there's this buzz this time of year. Yeah. You know, school's wrapping up. We, former, uh, as a former teacher, I always get a little teary, but kids are elated. Mm -hmm. You know, Alice Cooper always said, no more pencils, no more books, <laughs> no more teachers' dirty looks. Yeah. But we, uh, you know, teachers affectionately call kind of that backward slide, the summer slump. And research has shown that kids can lose up to two months wow. of grade equivalency in reading and math sometimes. So, you know, where I'm not prescribing homework over the summer, yeah. it's a break from school, but it's not a break from learning. So we talk about their ways to enrich the summer with what we call the four C's. Okay, so let's talk about each one of those C's. Let's start first with communication, right? Right. What, what, what can we do at home to encourage that? So communication is all about the exchange of ideas. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of podcasts out there and video talks, TED Talks, TED EDU, Youth Radio, and it's ways for kids to hear different perspectives and then formulate their own. And then there are these great digital storytelling apps like Toontastic and Shadow Puppet EDU, where kids can create stories, which we know is great for kids young and old mm -hmm. to express their emotions, impart their, you know, feel in the world. Yeah. Absolutely, and connect with others. Okay, collaboration is the next one. What what can we encourage kids to do over the summer? So collaboration is all about building team working skills. So whether it's video production, there are these great mm -hmm. multimedia presentation tools like Edu Creations, Explain Everything, and Voice Thread, where kids can take on different roles of producer, writer, animator, and work together to produce oh, a that. really polished video. They're wonderful. And then there are sites like Wikispaces, where they can build a website collaboratively from the ground up. So whether they're near or afar, and again, individual talents all towards Coming a collective together. goal. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that that's something too that kids would be interested in, yeah. and I think it's something that almost would last them the entire summer, right? That's like a lengthy project. Absolutely. Uh, let's talk next really quickly about critical thinking. So critical thinking, this is about how do you, you know, engage in trial and error, fail forward and persevere. So there are apps like Tinkercad mm -hmm. and MIT App Inventor or Scratch where kids, we call it a sandbox tool, where they can put together coding blocks to make games and animations and videos and models. Um, Minecraft is the yeah, mother of yeah, them all. Yeah, yeah. It's popular. Kids should love it as much as parents do, mm -hmm. really, because it's all about strategy and ingenuity and, again, sharing ideas. And, and it's great because when we're talking, none of that really sounds like learning to me. It no. sounds fun. Last one, creativity. Creativity. This is my yeah. favorite. So, you know, there's so much out there for budding artists today. Mm -hmm. So whether you're a graphic designer and use Canva or there's an eloquent digital sketchbook called Paper um, by 53, um, there's so many different tools out there. The makers in us, the maker movement, mm -hmm. again, getting your hands dirty, whether it's digital or old school do-it-yourself projects. There are sites like Instructables and DIY.org that have all these free ideas for inspiration that kids can do alone, together, Offline, online, yeah. and like you said, it's not it's not learning or textbook and, and the, learning. Yeah, like we're, we're sort of used to thinking. All right, hey, Derek, yeah. thanks so much for, for sharing those tips with us. I know it was a lot, parents, to uh, to kind of take in, but we've got a lot more information available on our website, ktv.com. There you'll find a web link to some of the things that we talk about. Really important that your children's learning doesn't evaporate in the summer exactly. heat, right? All right.